buckle up, because it's time. It's time to create the future of consumer experiences at the speed of demand. This is what drives us every day at Harman. And with our automotive engineering expertise, we're ushering in a new era of end vehicle experiences. We are ready to rethink how consumers connect with their vehicles with powerful, more human experiences that exceed every expectation. This isn't about what if, this is about right now. With the insights, the engineering, provided with the automotive grade technology that powers 50 million cars around the world. This is our time, your time, go time. Harman helps you unlock the potential of your vehicles to intelligently connect drivers with the world around them and deliver more wow moments at the speed of demand. By putting drivers at the center of what we do, the door is wide open, so climb on in. Join the smart ones, the dreamers, the doers, all of us who create automotive grade at the speed of consumers. Harman Automotive. Consumer experiences, automotive grade. Welcome to the LinkedIn Live broadcast for the Harman Explorer 2022 from Novi, Michigan. My name is Tom Rivers. I'm the Vice President of Global Marketing for the Automotive Division, and I'm pleased to be your host for the day. And I'd like to introduce my colleague, Armin Promisberger. He's our Senior Vice President of Product Management, who's been leading all the efforts that you're going to see today. So we're really excited to, uh, to have Armin uh, to join us. Welcome. Yeah, hey Tom, how are you doing? I'm great. Yeah, I'm super, right. super excited to, to be showcasing this and, and, and talk to our customers and a whole bunch of people around the world. Uh, let's just start with maybe the big picture. Uh, there is a lot happening uh, in all markets going through transformation, mm -hmm. especially in the automotive business. We're, we're accustomed to this. Uh, we see electrification on the rise, right? We see autonomy, connectivity, and consumerization. We know consumers want a greater, richer experience in their vehicles. We know this from research. Mm -hmm. So as a sort of fundamental backdrop to all this, talk about um, what Harman is doing to address those uh, trans uh, transformation, and uh, then we're going to get into some product. Absolutely. So yeah, the world is changing, right? It's, it's, we all, or oh, many of us work from home. We talk to our friends more on a video chat than in person. We buy electric cars. So everything is, is in flux. And if you work in automotive industry, you really can feel we are at an inflection point. Yeah. Right? So there's so much change going on that to, to a degree that we as an industry, we think we need to explain to the world that, hey, we have now software-defined cars. Right, because before cars were more seen like a machine, and now it's becoming an electronic device. Yeah. But also this is interesting, because for us it's like, we, are a, we have a mothership with Samsung, right, which is yeah. one of the most important and largest consumer electronic companies on the planet. And we as Harman have been already always a consumer and an automotive company at the same time. So we have been dealing with consumer expectations all along. Yeah. And consumer expectations are different. If you take, for example, a smartphone, it's like I'm used by my smartphone that every month I get a security update. Every few months I get a feature update. Literally here now while we are talking, I could download a new product, a new app. And then I get into my car and it's slightly more expensive than my smartphone, yeah. but it doesn't really feel like such a device. And then we took a step back last year, and you were part of the journey, yep. right, with your team. And we said, okay, so how, what does this mean? We know so much about where consumers are going. And on the other side, we know so much about automotive industry. So how do we bring these two worlds together? Yep. And we came up with what we think is our mantra going forward, which is consumer experiences in automotive grade. Yep. So consumer experiences, automotive grade, two big statements, and we actually, consumer experience period, automotive grade period, for a reason. Talk a little bit, we talked a little about consumerization here and understanding the consumer, and we did deep dive into understanding what consumers really want out of mm -hmm. their vehicles, as you just mentioned. Talk a little bit more about the automotive grade portion of that and, and why we are the leaders in developing that and producing these products. Absolutely. So, yeah, the consumer portion comes with expectations, right? It comes with a cadence, continuous product delivery, exciting features, ease of use. 
And there are many companies out there who could put that in a car. But actually, if something goes wrong on your smartphone, literally no one dies. Right. right? It's like you have to reboot, you, you might have to reinstall something, off you go. If this happens in a car, it's a much bigger problem. So our ability to understand how you need to validate, qualify, develop products so they are safe and get our users, the customers, from safely from point A to point B while experiencing an amazing in-cabin experience. Right? Yeah. That is an ability, I think, that is very unique to bring those two together as one company. Fantastic. So we've got the backbone of our engineering, et cetera, to, to be the qualifier for that. So let's get into it, because I know our audience really wants to see what we've produced, what's, what's ready. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about our first product here. Let's yeah. move over for a second. This is called Ready Together. Yeah. Now, whenever I get into a car, I am together with somebody, mm -hmm. but this means something very different than that. That experience of me getting in a car, just sitting there and somebody else sitting in the seat or in the back seat next to me, just doing their own thing. But why, why did we call it this and what's behind Ready Together and the uniqueness of that product? Yeah, Ready Together is, is an interesting product because this product is one of the first where we applied a very different methodology. Like our teams in our core audio team, they were observing customers how they behave. And when we get into a car with friends, it's just like we would be at home and friends coming over, but it's a very constrained space. Hello. And what we are doing then is like, okay, let's go on a road trip with our friends here. We get into the car, and what you hear now, the noise is actually just road noise, yeah. right? So you, you get a better feeling about what's going on in the car. And this is set up only the first time. It tells me how high are you, so we can adjust, for example, the headrest in the right position. I continue, this only happens once. And then I'm in the car and let's tap to start here and bring another person in. Right? So, you, so, you're, you're, so now you're engaging the passenger, yeah? Yes, now I'm engaging the passenger and I get in the car, we start the drive, I want to listen to music, I, I'm focused on the road, everyone else is a little bit chatty, right? So I start with the music, I get my volume a little bit up, and it sounds really good for those. It's, I think it's hard on, uh, on the live stream, but it, it really sounds nice. Um, but it's also, it immerses me. It's now, if I would talk to someone, even talking to you is already hard to understand. Right? So we are chatty, we're getting on the road. We want to communicate. I don't want to, you remember when we were going on, on roads, someone was continuously turning up the volume, turning down the volume. So we integrated a communication mode and you can hear what's happening while I'm talking the music the volume is reduced automatically the moment I stop talking the music comes back right and this ease of use this simplicity this is what consumers really need and this is what I want right it's like not everyone who gets into such a car is an audio nerd yeah. Right, or yeah. enthusiast. You just want to have this working for you. And then there's seat mode. That is really interesting. For example, now, if I activate seat mode, we turn off communication and I go on intercom. For example, we are 100 miles down the road and Everyone was kind of immersed in his own because you do not have to listen to the same thing that I want. The person on the other side could watch a video, pet back there with the camera, for example. He could be playing a video game, being totally immersed, noise cancellation, totally shut off. So the communication path would not work for him because he doesn't want to communicate with us right now. Uh, okay. But he wants to know if we want to have a break at the next truck stop. Uh, okay. So intercom mode, on and off, right? Instant communication. And then I can go over here and say, I change different music. Or the person, for example, can, cho can choose a video. In addition, all of this works seamlessly for every seat. Every person has the same controls. It's intuitive, it's easy to use. So rear seat people have their own space, yes. right? Uh, front, pa front passengers have their own space, can do their own thing, whether they're playing Xbox 
or listening to music or listening to a WebEx for a meeting, et cetera. Yep. So it's customizable, but seamless all at the same time. Yes. That's amazing. And there's a lot of technology right now working below this. Like we're creating audio bubbles, sound zones in this car, four of them, right? We have different things and sources. We communicate left, right, and center without any feedback and with it sounding natural and without latency. All of those things are heavy computation, but it must not matter to the user. For the user, it just needs to be easy. Amazing. So I'm going on a family vacation here in another month. All four of us are going to get into a car. We can all, th this, ch this dramatically changes the experience uh, from whether you're little kids or I've got college kids or you're going with your friends or colleagues. This is an unmet need that we really tapped into doing our research. Yeah? Absolutely. So t talk about uh, when this is ready. We called it Ready Together because what, what is the SOP if you are a, an OEM? Uh, talk about uh, that, that cadence of, of its availability. So it's literally available now. We have a roadmap. As we discussed, we are changing now from this old traditional waterfall model in automotive to a continuous integration. Yeah. Most of the functionality you've seen in the car is already available today for our customers. Right? As we can see here, we have already the prototypes, valida validated platforms on hardware and software ready to implement. Fantastic. And yep. then every six months, we release a new feature drop. Okay. Right? So just like the mobile device, new yep. features are dropping, updates can happen, etc. Absolutely. Let's talk about our next product. Yep. Audio so, is, a f is our foundation historically at Harman. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some amazing brands. JBL, Harman Kardon, I can go on. We have a whole list of them. And our, our customers, our partners at OEMs, have been immersed in our brands for years. This is a little bit different uh, twist on, on an audio uh, called uh, Software Enabled Branded Audio. Yep. Talk about this a little bit and climb on in and do the demo. Absolutely. So before we climb in, it's like, just, just think about this. It's like, this is amazing, right? Everyone wants that. But when we buy cars, most of us are literally on a budget, right? You want to buy a car and you find your dream car and literally everyone always gets to exactly his budget, and there are still features you love. Right. And if we go into this car, so think about what if. What if I don't have to decide at the beginning when I configure my car, if I take the bigger battery pack of my new electric vehicle yeah. or yeah. the sound system? Yep. Right. So what if I can have both, even if I can't afford it right now, let's say six months down the line, I have put away some money and now I would like to have the sound system. Retrofit is not a thing. Right. So we thought about that and again, we, we came from the consumer perspective, from the mobile perspective. How can we do a downloadable sound system? Let's see how this oh, works. This is awesome. So I will need to close the door, sure. otherwise it's yep. going to make bing. Yep. All right, let's turn on. So what you can see now is like, it's, it's a sound system standard, sounds okay for the older demographics like me, it's like it's dire straits, right? It's not necessarily <laughs> the latest and greatest. But I have an infinity button down here. So what does this do? You go on infinity, you get an application running on the infotainment system and it tells you right now you have a standard system, all the features are turned off. I can turn this on, the device tells the cloud, my user wants to experience really good branded audio. So it downloads the feature set, it downloads literally the audio product, right? And then it's going to ask you, if you use it the first time, how old are you? What's your gender? What's your listening experience? Okay, I will not reveal my year of birth, but I'm most probably... 39, can, you're 39, yeah. yes, yeah. I can say I'm male, right? It's like, let's go on next. And it's going to ask me, so where are you sitting normally? So, yes, I'm most, most of the times driving. And then I'm going to do a listening test, right? With, and I can do this with different songs. They are predefined and they are scientifically selected. They have, they have different properties. And then I can say, okay, based on my preferences, and I'm normally, I like medium highs, I like a lot of bass, I have to admit. I finish this, it stores it to my profile. 
This is it. Yeah. So we downloaded a sound system more or less. We, we personalized it. And here's now one of the most exciting things for me. There's so much talk about augmented reality right now, right? Let's talk about augmented audio reality. What we have in this car is what you see over here, sound experience. It says live, it says club, it says talk. What it really does is based on technology that's coming from Pro, and we superimpose different rooms, like in an opera hall, on this car. Fantastic. And this all on demand with the touch of a button. So again, consumer experience, automotive grade, uh, checks the box here. Yep. We know consumers want it, mm -hmm. and we're able to engineer it in on demand, just like your mobile device. That's, that's pretty, and they get, they get a great sound system to go with it. So they get the, the Infinity sound system. Let, let's shift over into the, one of the topics I mentioned earlier, which was around connectivity. Absolutely. And connectivity uh, from just getting the car connected through a, a TCU box, but we expanded that when we acquired a company called Savari. And uh, the expansion of that uh, includes a whole bunch of city infrastructure. Talk about that on a big picture, and then we're going we're gonna to show a little bit of the products. Absolutely. So well, for all the gamers out there, the gamers know one thing. Latency is king. Yeah. Right? It's like you can be as good as you want in your game and have all the strategies. If you have 150 milliseconds ping, you, can, you don't even need to go online. You will not win. Yeah. Right? Latency is everything. And it's already for gaming. In a car, in a city, in the complexity of traffic, for safety, latency is even more important, yeah. right? And today, cars can talk to each other. There's something called vehicle to everything, yes. where it talks to infrastructure, to other cars, yeah. even, for example, to road users like uh, cyclists or pedestrians. Yeah. And the amazing thing is we can make the car receive information about what's up in the ro on the road a few hundred meters away. The problem with, you could think you can do this with the cloud, but the cloud has a lot of latency, right? Yeah. And it might come too late. In our world, a few seconds, even milliseconds, make the difference when you break, if you hit something or not. So what we thought, where we are really a pioneer since 20 years, is connectivity in cars. Yes. 20 years yeah. ago, we launched the first connected car ever. Yes. Last year, we launched the first 5G connected 5G. car. 5G, yes. Based on Samsung technology, yep. right? And now, with Savari, we are expanding that with what's over there on products. Let's go take a look at that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So we got OBUs, which is an onboard unit, right? which is called MobiWave. This is the device that's in the car that allows your car to talk to other things. These here are roadside units. Right? They, are, they are called StreetWave. This is 2000. And this is a new product, not yet out there. Um, it's going to launch in one and a half years from now. And there's also certification involved because this is a standard yeah. globally. Yeah. Right? And these products, the OBU talks to them. They talk to each other. They talk to the cloud. But they are super low latency. They are close. The information travels with you. Yeah. And in addition, we bring now the cloud closer to the car. Five years ago, you thought about there's a cloud, there's an edge. The edge is the car, the cloud is a computer somewhere in, an, in a data center. Yeah. Today we know there's the cloud and then there are many, many edges. Yeah. Right? Right. There might be the edge of a city it, which has its own server. There might be the edge of a roadside unit and then it goes into the car. And we reduce this latency. And this is how these products, for example, also can come in with the feature set instantly. Yeah. Yeah. But there's also a safety relevant interesting part of that. Let's go over there. Let's do that. So yeah, transitioning f from that to this, this, this next uh, product, going from mi municipalities and OEMs who want all those advantages. Let's talk about augmented reality. We just announcing today the acquisition of a company called Apostera, yep. which is an augmented reality company here. We'd like to uh, just hear a little bit more about that. So yeah, so, so talk, talk, talk us about why is that critical for Harman to have acquired Apostera and what does that do for us? Yeah, quick, intro, quick introduction. So I introduce you um, to Andre Golubinski. Yeah. So Welcome. he is the former CEO of Apostera. Amen. Hello, Armin. Hey. Yes, pleasure to be here. So we have a team of more than 120 professionals who have been working on the technology for the last five years. And of course, it is a big pleasure to join Harman team. Great to have you guys. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. And you know, seeing is believing, and I'm here 
going to show you how the technology works in reality. So the, the platform actually helps to visualize contextual information projected in front of the vehicle, right just in front of the eyes of the driver. And we merge the physical and the digital worlds together in a way that information intuitively uh, laid on the road surface just in front of the driver. We also visualize what car sees and thinks in a way that the information that we get from the already uh, installed ADAS systems in the car is also intuitively visualized in front of the uh, car. So like late departure warning, um, front collision warning, adaptive cruise control, and others. Also, the platform brings a next generation real seat entertainment. It's also about different, fundamentally different uh, user experience and the consumer experiences. So the passenger can really interact and engage with the point of interest around the car location. And of course, we are, you know, increase safety, right? So here you can see also how the information is projected and all critical elements are highlighted in front of the driver. Actually, amazing here. Uh, well, again, welcome again. Thank you. Just give me just a little soundbite on your work with OEMs. Yeah, so today we have one product in production. Yeah. It's with OD, it's OD Q4 e-tron. So this is a product that we're really proud of. And of course, we have a lot of more to come. Awesome. This is a huge advantage of us going forward, especially in the augmented reality space. Thank you so much, Andre, Thank you. and welcome again here. <clears throat> you know, uh, Armin, uh, you're responsible for product management and innovation and ideas. And we, there's always something behind the curtain that we want to reveal. Uh, and this last thing uh, we're going to we'll share is uh, a sneak peek mm -hmm. uh, as to something that else is ready. Uh, so uh, why don't you just talk about this for a moment, give, give, the, give our audience uh, a sneak peek into in the future. Uh, so go ahead. Absolutely. So what we have seen now with all of these things, we bring together a quite amazing in-cabin experience, right? The audio, features on demand, V2X communication, mixed reality, right? And it's important because we are one of the few companies who can take mixed reality, augmented reality to the next level because it's not only video, right? We position audio objects in a three-dimensional field where you need them because your brain is much faster in recognizing an acoustic alert than a visual alert, yeah. right? Yeah. Safety. But still, with all of this intelligence in the car, intelligence, the car is actually pretty dumb. Yeah. Right? It doesn't know anything about me. Right? And one of the most important things, which is try to be counteracted already with new features like DMS, which is driver monitoring systems, is are your eyes on the road? And systems today can kind of detect quite well if your eyes are on the road. But let's think a little bit harder. My eyes can be perfectly on the road, and my mind is somewhere totally else. Yeah, I've never had that happen before. Right? It's like yeah, yeah. you get into the car, you drive somewhere, you get there, and you think, how did I get here? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I was thinking about a meeting or whatever is going on. And this is, this is really a threat. It's a threat to yourself. It's a threat to the others that are with you in traffic. Yeah. So what if the car could know what you're thinking, yeah. Yeah. where you are? If you are focused, if your mind is on the road, what if your car could sense, if it does something, how you react to it? For example, if it changes the HVAC control, do you feel better, do you feel worse? Right, yeah. That sounds like sci-fi, right? Yeah, but uh, I have uh, have been participating in it, and it is pretty amazing. Yeah. And we're going to be showing this to select uh, customers, partners, over the next five days. So we're really excited to reveal this to them privately. Uh, so more, more to come on that. But hey, uh, uh, just a, one, one closing question here is, working at Harman, all this consumer experience, automotive grade products that you're involved in, talk a little bit about you know, what does it mean to be a, a participant here at Harman? Oh, it's, it's everything from challenging, crazy, cutting, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, if you want to work on, on these things that you have just seen, thinking about product from a consumer perspective, thinking about latest technologies in signal processing, whether this is visual or audio, whether it's machine learning in the AI, for example, for cognitive load, detection, prediction, synthesis, and acting upon. Yeah. It's like 
then I think we are a pretty good company to work at. Fantastic company. And having been part of this now for seven years, I can attest to that. So congratulations. So just wrapping this up here, uh, consumer experience automotive grade is our heartbeat. Uh, we have some amazing products we shared today, and we're going to be revealing them for the next five days to our OEM uh, customers here. So again, thank you so much for joining us on LinkedIn Live, the 2022 Harman Explore event. Again, have a great day, and thanks again.